UTXO management is getting more and more important as the use of Bitcoin is increasing and the more people are using Bitcoin. UTXO management basically means that you are consolidating small amounts of Bitcoin that are scattered on many different unspent transaction outputs into one UTXO. U, unspent transaction outputs UTXO. Why is this important? When you, for instance, have received an amount of 30,000 Satoshis, which is $20 today, then these 30,000 Satoshis are sitting on the blockchain in one UTXO. And then a little bit later, you received 10,000 Satoshis and it also sits in its own UTXO because you did, it, you did great and you followed the first rule of privacy in Bitcoin, which is always use a new Bitcoin address to receive a Bitcoin transaction. But now you have these different UTXOs with a small amount of Bitcoin on it. So in total, you've got 40,000 Satoshis and now you want to spend 35,000 Satoshis. Now your wallet needs to use both UTXOs to construct a transaction for this. This is how Bitcoin works. And that also means that the data size of the transaction is higher than if you had, for instance, a UTXO with 50,000 Satoshis available in your wallet. Because then the transaction could have been taken from these 50,000 and only one UTXO would have been needed to send the 35,000 Satoshis. You would get 15,000 back. So now the wallet has to make a, a transaction out of the two UTXOs and the higher the data size, the higher the fees you have to pay. So in Bitcoin, it's not the amount um, of money that you send that is determining um, the, the, the fees you pay, like in the current traditional banking system, it's the data size. And so your fees are going to be higher. And that's the reason why with rising transaction fees on chain, I recommend that you don't buy or uh, receive small Bitcoin on-chain amounts under 250,000 or 300,000 Satoshis on-chain. Better use Liquid or Lightning for this. And secondly, start consolidating your UTXOs. If possible, wait for a time when the fees are lower. Mostly on weekends, the fees go down. Um, you can use mempool.space to see the current transaction fees. And regarding your questions, if I have a tutorial, a step to a step by step tutorial, I don't. Um, but I recommend you look into the tutorial that my friend BTC Sessions has made. Um, you can find it on his website. I'm going to share this with you. So BTC Sessions has great tutorials and he's explaining UTXO management um, for the Sparrow wallet in this video. Um, because not all wallets offer the possibility that you can do coin control, but Sparrow does. And also uh, it looks a little bit different in each wallet. Uh, sometimes it's called coin control, sometimes uh, UTXO management. Um, and you can find this video by searching for BTC sessions and then avoid Bitcoin fees UTXO. Then you should find it in your search engine. So the principles are the same in every wallet. Only the user interface differs. And that's why I think you can learn a, break, a good deal um, with the tutorial from BTC sessions. And um, it's also important to take coin control into consideration when you um, open a new wallet. For instance, like with the mobile wallets, um, 
It's Blue Wallet, and then uh, I think Samurai op offers coin control, but I don't know any other mobile wallets that offer coin control that I would trust. Um, but if you have uh, your Bitcoin in cold storage already, I know you can use um, Sparrow Wallet, which is a I think one of the best, if not the best desktop wallet uh, for Bitcoin. You can use it with a Bitbox O2. You can connect it with a Tresor, a cold card, um, or a Blockstream Jade. I think you also can connect it with a Ledger. You would need to go into the Sparrow Wallet documentation and find out how that works. Hello, my name is Anita Posch and if you liked that video, please subscribe to my channel now to inspire me to create more content like this. And if you want to learn more about Bitcoin, then sign up for my free weekly Bitcoin newsletter at anita.link news.